This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast 468 here in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA, where things are happening with trains, but there are no sinkholes verified uh, in the area. So that is a qualification. Uh, we are here. We have first from Studio C, he is the gadget guru from Big Bank International Esquire, Judge Chilla. How How's it going? We are we are one day into uh, one day no sinkhole safe in Pittsburgh. That's right. That's right. Um, you know uh, we are we are uh, uh, one AC um, <laughs> our AS um, after sinkhole. <laughs> the world has changed. So also with us, also diverting uh, the, the the holes is uh, uh, Ron Krauss is with us as well. Also a gadget Hello. fellow in the world. <laughs> Of Big Bank of International. Big Bank International Esquire. Yes. Gadgets thank you. and stuff. So I love how like you're you're like suit- everybody's suitably geeky today. Like I, we we got we got your Deadpool you got no, I'm wearing Deadpool. You got <laughs> rocking your Doctor Strange pop shirt. You're rocking you got some Star Wars going on. R2-D2. Having that Mandalorian 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 OMG, does oh, that look good? Man, that's looking great. Yes, it is. That is, man. That should have been the awesome Dude, thing. I'm watching Solo, and I'm like, man, I think Star Tra- Star Wars is really just kind of not great at spinoffs. Then I like watch it, I'm like, oh, shit, we're <laughs> into something. Now um, I got to pay for it. Uh, I paid for I prepaid for three years. Did you? It really? was the best hundred. It, well, uh, it, it, prospectively, it's going to be the hun- best hundred and fifty dollars I ever spent on content. So <laughs> we got the deal. That one we were talking I, about at the beginning of September. Yeah. Hmm. I, I wonder if others will do that on Black Friday, where like Netflix will be like buy three years in advance. Dude, if like, I can buy, if, if I can just like, if I have like the cash in hand, it's like, listen, can I just like pay for WWE Network or? Or whatever mm-hmm. for like the next couple of years or next year or something. Not worry about it. like I'm on that because the, the little like every month. Oh, there goes there goes Netflix. There goes the WWE. Mm-hmm. There goes the the you know if you had Hulu or CBS because I've been watching Star Trek now. Um, uh, but uh, we, maybe we'll talk about that later. But anyways, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Producer Missy is here, making sure I don't go too far off the rails. She's already been giving me some warning shots and glares during the pre-show, and now she's shaking her head at me. Say hi, Missy. She's, she's turned on. Yeah, I have to turn on because you don't like it when I type. Well, you know, I hear the typing type, and so do they. Now you're in the typing classroom. It's Mavis, Mavis, Mavis Beacon's uh, wow, podcast. Wow, Mavis Beacon. You're coming way back. That's how, that's Missy, how I learned to type. Missy Sorg teaches typing. Yeah, Missy Sorg teaches typing. Nice. Producer Missy teaches typing. Uh, coming soon to an app store near you. That doesn't make sense. Uh, well, anyways. <laughs> uh, awesome cast at SorgatronMedia.com. Awesome cast on the Twitter. Awesome cast Facebook page and group. And subscribe to rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on our Facebook and YouTube pages. You can also ask your uh, voice assistant to play the Awesome Cast podcast for you as well. We are on those platforms. You may have to configure, get an app set up, or connect to a tune in or something like that. iHeartRadio, whatever the case may be. I get, I get an email every week from iHeartRadio reminding me that there's a new episode every Monday. That there's a new episode of Awesome Cast. <laughs> That's meanwhile, awesome. it probably posted to iHeartRadio on Wednesday morning. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it didn't yeah. it post like a. Far it in should advance. have, but I don't. I don't know. It goes through speaker to iHeartRadio, so I don't know what really happens. I also am not sure if we have accurate numbers because I don't know if they report. So, hello, all you awesome cast iHeartRadio fans out there. Hi. Um, and, <laughs> and of course, we're live every Tuesday on Facebook Live at 4, seven PM Eastern Time. We are on several other platforms, but if you want to interact with us in the chat room. 
please join us on the Awesome Cast Facebook Live. That is where we are paying attention to that. And Steve is saying Mavis Beacon was like 1992. Uh, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm 51 years old. Trust hey, me. I know all about hey. it. Uh, also, if you're catching us later or on one of those other outlets, just hit us up on Twitter at AwesomeCast with the hashtag AC468 for this episode. And thank you to our audio partners. Been uh, spreading the awesome all around. Our friends at the 405media.com and our friends at Post Industrial Audio at Post Industrial dot com you can check out a couple episodes ago we had uh matt stroud and company from a post-industrial joining us here on the show and of course thank you mostly to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesome cast at our coffee club five dollar level matt weller john diggy degore and john carmen at the fan of the show one dollar level michael fedor uh katie's favorite fedor <laughs> as we discovered last week um and of course you can support the show if you dig what we're doing at patreon.com slash awesome cast oh man we were talking about sinkholes let's kick it off because pittsburgh through calamity and because nobody got hurt we have the greatest things on the internet this year one of the greatest one things, of the greatest yeah. things on the internet this year kraus tell me about your awesome thing well as we all know because it's it went national Pittsburgh had a bus fall into a sinkhole. Oopsie. And the internet just had fun. Oopsie. <laughs> what a sight, just in general. I was I shared the video of them taking a like they had to get a giant crane down there to lift it out of the hole. Oh, yes, they did. Jeez. But with it, like but not just this wasn't the great thing, other than the visual and the interesting that the like, hey, we had a sinkhole downtown. Isn't that weird and should we be concerned? Um <laughs> the memes sir yes there were two by the way there were i heard there were only two people on the bus mm -hmm. so no one was hurt the, the headline that said one that, passenger that escapes. Included the, yeah that that included the driver yes <laughs> the two people. yeah so when yeah. it just said one passenger escaped you're like oh god what happened so yeah, where did the rest <laughs> of them go yeah, like I'm, I'm concerned about this yeah but uh anyways but so but the memes the memes the memes have been tremendous jeez um it, it's so like one like from from the bus being um um i'm going to twitter now the bus being uh photoshopped onto the steel phantom roller coaster uh to to being on the tremors poster uh there's a lot of cool stuff uh at farmers we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two <laughs> if there you go yeah uh, my life going downhill yeah yeah uh and this was your favorite chilla or no no this actually yeah, our, our house this was yours this might be chillas uh when you've beaten all the pot other potholes in pittsburgh you now have to fight the final boss yeah. uh so this was the my my favorite was they had one of yoda lifting the x-wing out of the swamp that luke couldn't lift lift but it was yoda lifting the bus out of the sinkhole i don't know oh, how many references awesome. i've seen to the titanic on this one including oh a, yeah including the titanic mm -hmm. movie poster it was just everybody you know everybody's getting in they got a case of the mondays and then a bus uh, they have pictures of a bus sticking out of the ground so um people were marking themselves safe from bus sinkhole on facebook <laughs> Oh, uh, man. As, so awesome. as, as a child of the 80s, I do have to admit that my favorite one was when they photoshopped it as our tax and a treu. Yeah. Oh, I did see From that. Another yeah. story. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see so, that. Um, we're going down. I'm yelling. I'm yelling timber. Yes. <laughs> Which is like it was is like a Kesha song. It's the screaming face and <laughs> the bus monster is trying to eat a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Is they it? didn't, and they didn't get that thing out till late last night. No, they yeah. didn't. We, they, they said they had to take a big, get a big. Um, um, well, yeah. Think about how much a bus weighs. Yeah, yeah. It, they couldn't just pull it out. It was in there. So, and and, and the heavier end was in. I, I love. I, I I go to to port authorities, and they're sharing the picture and say, by the way, the heaviest part of the bus is the back end that is in the sinkhole. It's like, is this is this the time for you to be sharing fun facts about port authority <laughs> uh, right now? I. I I, don't don't you don't you have something better to be doing like pulling your bus out of the hole in Pittsburgh? So I I just wow, and it's right in front of the West End, it's right by the convention center. Um, that's gonna be a traffic nightmare as they I don't know fill the hole. Um, <laughs> this guy. Well, they're saying months. Oh no, that, 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 I, I heard eight weeks. Eight yeah. weeks. That seems that seems that's two months. The, the the one that I thought was funny was people. 
I, I saw a bunch of posts because there's that little steel bridge yeah. bike rack type thing. People kept saying, this is Photoshop. That bridge is that bridge isn't scaled right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's pictures oh, of Bane saying we know we know uh, uh, sinkhole spotted downtown Pittsburgh this morning. Has anyone accounted for Heinz Ward and Bane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Bane. Yeah, here's the uh, no injuries. I think that's the original one. Um, man, there's a lot of speed uh, references. Yeah. Um, there was uh, there was one point where where pe- there was there was two guys there was two guys in vests that were like had their hands on the bump the front bumper and they're like it looks like these two guys are lifting up the bus <laughs> like Superman style. They, so. they had one with the Hulk, like the old school like seventies Hulk mm-hmm. next to it, like and it looked like it was lifting up. Like from the bottom, holding it in place. So, so Steve's letting us know. Of course, uh, Bold Pittsburgh Sports podcast here on this on Circuitron Media. Uh, it was the third quarter of the game last night. They showed it on Monday Night Football. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome! <laughs> oh, that's great. So, um, there you go. I think that's what they, I think he's referring to when they were actually pulling it out by crane. So. I, I love people were down there taking selfies with the bus. I know, like one of my wrestling uh, announcer friends, like uh, got back in from like Knoxville, and it was like I had stopped by the bus while I was here. So you know, before I went home, so it's that's crazy. That's Pittsburgh for you, man. Uh, Chilla, there's some new tech before I talk about some old new tech, and this is Kraus has Kraus needs to hear your feedback on this. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. What's new? Oh, he 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 hates. Any headphones that are more than seven dollars? <laughs> Not seven dollars. Close. Close. He was really, he was really excited to show me his twenty-one dollar pair of headphones yeah. that he okay. only lost once. So, go ahead, Joel, you start. So, 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 so Apple announced the, and I'm not a fan of the name, but the AirPods Pro. Mm-hmm. Um, because the plural of that is not AirPod Pros; it's AirPods Pro, I guess speaking correct english um interestingly enough the devices like the case is a little bit a bit wider um the devices kind of have like that clip-on removable rubber pieces that fit nicely and that allow you to kind of customize the fit to your ear they'll come in three three different sizes in the package to to allow you to to adapt um they do Active noise cancellation. They have audio transparency mode, which I find to be more and more important. I've tried a couple of different devices with audio transparency, which I think is pretty darn cool. Mm-hmm. Audio transparency because it the device is sealed to your ear, so anything that's like us talking, you're pretty much not going to hear. And if you hear it, it's just going to be like heavy low bass, like so. <clears throat> You can wait, 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 you can, wait, wait, wait. Can we can we get that noise again? Yeah, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. If you scroll about, uh, depending on where you're at, there's a controls section, um, which is underneath the large, medium, small, tip section. Um, what I thought was pretty cool about the device wasn't just the the um, audio transparency and noise cancellation, but unlike the AirPods, they have multiple tap options. So tapping once will play, pause, or answer a phone call. Tapping twice skips forward. Tapping three times skips back. Press and hold the switch between active noise cancellation and transparency mode. And like anything coming out from Apple today, if you say, hey, you know who, um, you will be able to get Siri to jump up and down and raise her arms. Sorry, um, there's something. Just, Sorry, I was trying to get producer Missy's attention. And I realized Chilla has the video feedback, so <laughs> just saw me waving in the air a little bit. Wave your hands like you just don't care. That's probably what Sor- or what uh, Kraus is doing right now about this whole thing. No, but, not at all. No, he's just smiling it, and shaking his head like it's not twenty one dollars. It's not twenty one dollars. No. So if you look at the and much in Apple fashion, we now have three <laughs> tiers of AirPod. You have nice. the Air. You have the AirPods with charging case at one hundred and fifty nine. The AirPods with wireless charging case at one ninety nine. 
and the AirPods Pro. I feel like that's like some kind of weird family name. Um, the AirPods Pro at two forty nine. Family um, name? I don't. I don't get I, it. like like the like the. I don't know. Like it sounds he just way too like formal. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like the Sorg House Three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but but no. So they have the same chipset. So it's the same H one chip. They all do. Hey, you know who? Yeah. Um. The charging case gets you with the charging case gets you 24 hours of listening. Um, the new wire, the new charging case is wireless, which I'm interested, and I'm sure it's because of, to to keep stacking it like the fifty dollar increment level, forty to fifty dollar increment level. If they could have sold this with the non charging case, would they have knocked like forty bucks off of it? Which would have brought us to two oh nine, which is an odd number. So they're not going to, you know what I mean? But um, the, where, what you're really getting is the customized fit, active noise cancellation, ad, adaptive equalizer, and the sweat and water resistance. So these are kind of like a hybrid between an AirPod and the Power Beats Pro. Which Kraus, get ready to laugh. With my Power Beats Pro, I can honestly say I really, really, really like them. The case is a little big, um, but they do feel more comfortable when running. So I'm at the gym. I use my Power Beats Pro. When I'm at work and on the go, I use my AirPods. So I guess I'm going to have to invest in an AirPods Pro. Um, so I haven't purchased them yet, but probably shortly after Christmas. Well, well, yeah. okay. So here's one example where I will say I am not just upset with Apple. It's you know because Microsoft has now has a pair, Google now has a pair, mm-hmm. and and an Apple now has these very expensive headphones. And and I will you know I'll admit as much as the next guy, I am not an audiophile. We talked about it earlier. <laughs> You know, I'm not one of those lossless, I got to have my music at a certain level to listen to it or any of that kind of stuff. Heck, I'm probably even a little deaf in one ear. If you talk to my wife, she would probably say yes. But I just, the price tag on these devices, is it really, do, do you really see that much of a dramatic difference between that and 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 may okay maybe it's your they are better than my twenty one dollar headphones, but literally I can buy my headphones six times. You know what I mean? Before I've paid for one pair of these headphones. So you have you have the Plantronics, yeah, uh, I have, fifty Voyager. Oh yeah, 50 that's the sing, or whatever. my single ear, and I bought it. I bought it refurb. So mine was like 65 bucks, right? It's worth every penny. And I think that device is worth every, so the the Plantronics is worth every penny because of the wind resistance, the mic quality, as well as the audio quality. I bet you, if you talked on a phone call at work with, with your $21 headphones, headphones, you would score one of the lowest scores. You're probably right in in audio quality. And here's the kicker. And we, you and I know this. That score is based on what you're producing. So you hear everyone great, right? But you sound like crap and right. disrupt the rest of the entire phone conversation. And, yeah. and I yeah. get that if you're buying these headphones specifically for meetings like my plantronics head, headset right. i bought so, that for work for so meetings. If, you, if you want if you want dual plantronics ear earphones 70 dollars times two yeah i just you're I, at 140 bucks which you're at the airpods without the charging case i guess i are they or really with, with that the char- good you know i don't know i guess that's the part um, so my thing is the mic quality is what's okay good and the other thing is and it was funny because I met someone that does this. Um, they're using like an AirPod to place further away from them to use as a microphone 
to bounce the audio into the other AirPod in their ear. Oh. Because they're they hard um, of hearing. Hard of hearing. So they can take an AirPod. Now they do have to kind of cover up the, the sensor on it so right. it thinks it's connected. But they're using that as a microphone and like they can place it on the podium to the speak to the person presenting. Right. And then they have the other AirPod in their ear and they have a special piece of software that can change the frequency of what's coming through the mic into a range that they can hear. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And if you think about if you think about and that means that they take out their hearing aids, mm-hmm. which hearing aids are an eight hundred to thousand dollar. Oh right, yeah, no, they're they're they can even get more expensive. So it's actually that. a cheaper option. <laughs> yeah, yeah, than, than so, the guess, yeah. Dude, like you're saying, if it's if it's you're just listening to a podcast on the way right. to and from work, um, I totally get that. 160, 160, even 100 at that point in time. Right. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Uh, in, in kind of comparison, uh, partners in the chat room saying, uh, I run and sweat too much for earbuds for over $24, for $25. So, I mean, it, it's a use case thing, right? Right. So, yeah. I mean, it, that, that's what it is. Like, like for exactly your use right. in your uh, yeah, level, these are purely for the bus. You're good. And I'm, walking through I'm time. good with my, like, I think they're like $35 uh, skull candies, and, and I only had those because the, the clean lady sucked one of our mic- headphones into the, <laughs> into a, uh, the vacuum cleaner, and they gave me a credit. So, you know. Right. Now, so. now, I wish they could figure out a way to come up with a wireless set, mm-hmm. or a, I'm sorry, a wired set. And maybe there's a Beats version, or I'm sure there's some, I know, uh, yeah, because there's are, some higher end bow. I, I had a a nice. I have a nice pair of, of higher end Bose ones. Mm. Um, I wish they would come out. There, there was more pricing options, and I think my Bose ones were close to 150. And I use those with like the Nintendo Switch mm-hmm. uh-huh. and some other devices that don't have that don't have the Bluetooth audio. Yeah. I have to apologize because I've been putting John Carmen up when Chilla talks. For, for oh, that's quite all right. So John uh, Carmen, Chilla, it's fine. Yeah, you know, whatever. It went black for a minute. It's we're we're just having a great time here. Uh, hey guys, you know what is also great when you can come in studio, which sadly, oh wait, no, I didn't do my thing. You didn't do yours. I didn't do my thing. Oh shoot. Okay, I'll make it quick. Uh, so. I, I I mentioned those one up cabinets. We've seen them. There's one that's got me, you know, that 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 you like. And I swear they're wearing me down with all of these. And one of these days I'm going to drop the money on them. There is a new Black Series arcade Pac-Man head to head. There's also a Street Fighter edition as well. Uh, these cabinets, like I love these top tabletop cabinets back in the day. And um, I love that there's a new one of these. Like when you're like, hey, maybe a stand up cabinet. Isn't the thing from my living room? Well, why not one that doubles as a coffee table? <laughs> um, Sam's Club actually has that, and you can play it at Sam's Club. They have in Robinson. these. They, they, they have the, the yep. tabletop ones. The, the, this one, the so, Pac Man. This one says it ships in December. Well, they have one. Wow. They do, and it's do awesome. My yet. wife and I were playing it. Jeez. Well, I, I wonder how long it is till someone figures out that. You can buy this, and they come up with some kind of crazy converter cable for the inside that um, lets you just plug in any Raspberry Pi. And there it. are already. I'm sure you Chill. can already do that because there's already. Um, hey, buy one of these one ups, but then do this and this so you can upgrade the controls. Uh-huh. Because um, one complaint about these cabinets is that the controls are maybe not as high end as people want. Go back so, to their main page, Sword. Did you, Chilla? I I, did I you am. see Star Wars? Yeah, there's a Star Wars one now. Like it's the original one. Star Wars? Yeah. The, with the sticks and everything. Yeah, with the sticks. Is it on the front page? No, it's you got to go to the Hold game. There, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah, man. See it? It's, it's a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. I didn't know there was, there was all the vector games. Yep. Yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> and then there's the one that, that I've been salivating over forever, the Ninja the Turtles, Turtles one. Yep. Come on. Four, Four players. Four player Turtles. Yes. You got the Marvel superheroes and X Men Children of the Atom one. I mean, although I gotta tell you, Centipede, I would the Centipede or uh, Galaga. I would give me. I'd take that in a minute. So that too. is no, no, no. Now that your tabletop, I think. Hold on, let me double check here, because I think the tabletop includes like a bunch of Pac Man games. but yeah. I think it does include Galaga actually. It does. 
So like it, it's it's got a stack of games on there. It looked like, um, yeah, Galaga, Dig Dug, uh, and like like f- five different variations of Pac-Man. Pac-Man, yeah. So I mean that's I mean it, this is like the grown-up version of Did you buy the twenty-dollar arcade stick that you could plug into your TV ten years ago? By the way, we have those here in the studio. Uh-huh. You see the Pac-Man one over there, which I think also has Galaga. By the way, if you want to play that after the show, check they have risers. So yeah, it, when, when I see these when I see these in Costco, they never have them on the riser. Right. No, so no, they're yeah. really short. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I think the idea is you get them and you like you pull a chair up to it, right? Yes. Like like that's why they're that lower level. Mm-hmm. And, and like, I thought they were just meant for kids. <laughs> maybe that too. And then you you get the risers when you're like, no, I want this to be like an arcade feeling kind of thing. Like you know, I've always wanted one for the studio, you know, and it, it's just an easy an easy thing to do, right? So yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> they they sell replacement parts right on their site. Oh really? That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, new sticks and buttons and things. Mm. You can even get different face plates and stuff, I believe, too. Really? Oh, you can buy them the marquees. Yeah. Oh, they're they're wooden though. They're not the old classic right. light up panel. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, even and I, I love like most of these include one or two or uh, I'm sorry, two to four games depending on like four variations of Golden Tea. If you're a Golden Tee golf fan. Yeah, uh, but if you're into that, how cool would it be to have one of those machines oh, yeah. in your house? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, It'd whatever it is, like, it's going to resonate with somebody with the, mm-hmm. the lineup they have here. So, they they have a good, um, I think they have a good, like, 15 titles that they have in here now. So, Space Invaders, Centipede, Machines. Again, it, it depends on what you're into. So, that's cool. And I think the typical ones, like, I'm looking at is $3.99. For, like, the Marvel superheroes, the uh, Pac-Man, which only has Pac-Man and Pac-Man Plus. Um, how much is that coming for? They actually don't have a listing on here. Interesting. So, uh, one of arcade one up.com. If you want to check out more information on that, I mean, we've been talking about this for months. So now I want to talk to you about pizza. Hey, uh, our good friends slice on Broadway has been supporting P- uh, Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good while now. Thank you so much for those guys for supporting the show, feeding our guests here on the show. Uh, and of course they have expanded there. They, they are avoiding bus, uh, 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 bus uh, sinkholes down there. Um, but go check them out. Sliceonbroadway.com. I don't know why my keyboard's not working. Um, but uh, I switched something off. Uh, go check them out in Beachview, Carnegie, East End, or PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. And, uh, and, and, and let them know that the awesome cast sent you. And thank you so much to those guys for supporting the show all right let's get into if my keyboard works now uh <laughs> some stuff first of all let's give a shout out to chachi he's uh, uh on the game on his 1001 games to play before you die he's uh hitting them all up and uh he's still deep into the super nintendo and uh reviewing prince of persia and uh chrono trigger Ooh, chrono trigger that's wow. a that's a classic out there uh and flashback and a lot of other great weird rpg ones i know he's been uh, expanding his review uh actually i think he's, he's up the word count on a lot of these reviews so go check him out thegamejourney.com a shout out to our buddy over there and what's the latest there um over on the uh awesome cast uh facebook group there's a lot of great stories that you guys have been sharing us uh, in the audience um first of all alex our buddy out in california alex cars uh, it says uh, Amazon Fresh is delivering. Deliveries are now free for Prime members. Um, it was a monthly fourteen ninety nine fee. If you were a Prime member, you could get it for that much. Now this is the fresh grocery delivery. I, I don't know if they have it here in Pittsburgh. I haven't seen these. Definitely haven't seen these trucks yet. Um, oh, actually, it's a Prime subscribers in two thousand cities where fresh food delivery services offer. Can use it for free. Okay, this may replace my. I guess I guess this is Whole Foods and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I was wondering, is this is this like Whole Foods? Can we grab food from from there? We know Walmart's doing it now too in Pittsburgh. Yeah, Walmart is doing it. Oh, well, we've talked about it. And I think I mentioned yeah. on the show we can get uh, groceries delivered to the studio here, but not three blocks away at the house. Interesting. So, so, so what this means is, since they're getting rid of the fourteen ninety nine fee. All of our Prime memberships are going up by yeah. probably about fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but still, yeah, I mean that's um. So I I don't know if is there any d- delivery costs on top of that on top on top of the fee or was that including everything? So is it just me or 
Are you comfortable with letting someone come into your house and drop off your no, food? No, I'm not. No. No, we talked about that last week. We are not comfortable with that, but I do want my gro- I want I'm also I'm also not comfortable with going into a Walmart. No, and I get that. Like I get the idea of of pulling up to the Walmart and having them throw the bags in the back of your car mm. and you drive away. I'm completely comfortable with that. I am not comfortable with letting someone come into my home and f- fill my refrigerator. It's just weird. So so how quick is it before there's some kind of mini fridge unit you can store on your front part, porch like the old milkman days where they had oh, like the, yeah. little, the little silver box where they dropped off, dropped off the glass bottles of milk? How far is it off till we get like some kind of RFID lockable fridge that goes on your front porch and you get you that would work that i wouldn't mind but 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 then you have to get through the like nobody's used to having a fridge on their porch right yeah but if if it doesn't have to look like a fridge but if but if you did it if you did it like that it was like a slidable unit on the bottom of a bench Mm. where it looked like a a sitting bench for your front porch but it doubled as a refrigerator as a refrigerator that you could bluetooth unlock or like tap to unlock type thing. Now uh, we are checking here at the studio, and we are well in, in Amazon. I patented that, by the way. So <laughs> if you're stealing my idea, we are uh, well within the city limits here uh, in Beachview, and, and Amazon Fresh is not available. I might be too far away from a Whole Foods. Oh. I bet. I bet. That's I wonder. I that's wonder because there's one in South Hills Village. I wonder if I'm close enough. You might be closer. You're you're a little bit closer than I am. Did you just go to the sign up button or how'd you figure um, that out? No, I just went to, um, I just did a search for Amazon Fresh and, and I pulled it up in the app and told me no. Denied. <laughs> how how am I like in this like weird, like, well, I guess I can get this. I guess Zing Basket's still a thing. I just don't want to go to the grocery store, guys. I know there's a grocery store right there. I was going to say, Sorg. Well, yes, but it doesn't have everything, okay? Yeah. It doesn't have everything, and it's more expensive. And when you walk in there, you move into a new country. Well, <laughs> so, okay, so I'm, that's not the reason I'm, I'm not going there. No. Okay, I but, just want to qualify. No, because, no. Because that's, that's one of the coolest things about going over exactly, there. Exactly. It's amazing. When I'm like, The I first don't, time listen, I went in there, I was like, did I just get teleported? I don't know what these cookies are, but they're delicious. <laughs> Could, can you schedule it where you're at home so they don't have to come into your house? House? Uh, well, well, I think well, the fresh I don't think requires it coming into your house. Oh, yeah, the that, fresh that's might if have you been have the, the ring. Yeah, I mean it's just the delivery, right? Well, yeah, so I'm requesting an invite because Whole Foods and South House Village is close enough for me. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, here's uh, Steve saying he's not he's not uh, um, cool with having even his groceries delivered. Uh, he doesn't trust people shopping for me and spending the extra money. There's well, that. This well, is nice. no, it's no not free. I, there's a charge. Um, I didn't realize yeah. there was a charge. Well, it there's generally, no. generally, if you're doing like Walmart or or yeah, something, Walmart, I mean, you're paying for something. Like we're not paying because we have Prime, and that doesn't mean there's not a delivery fee. Um, Walmart, I think, is like depending on the time of day, it's been between like six and eight dollars, and uh, you can pay a hundred dollars a year just like Prime for just that throws in the fee for uh, deliveries for Walmart groceries. Okay. And there's plenty of other ones, uh, too, like uh, HelloFresh and things like that, right? Or, no, there was a different one. Anyways. Well, sorry, Chilla, you were trying to say? Um, yeah, the, 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 the fresh doesn't, there's no fee. And right. in fact, it was, it's pretty interesting because when I'm looking at this, it's giving me the Whole Foods menu menu or like what's in the store right now Mm -hmm. and it's also showing me what my amazon discount is nice so for like a new york strip steak i get it for 9.99 a pound versus 14.99 a pound no okay the interesting the thing i'm interested in is do they have oh they have the prepared food section i could order dinner look out nice and have it delivered Nice and warm. Well, relatively, as much as it is the drive from the South Hills to where you're at. Right, but I do the same thing when I go there and bring it home. That's true. Oh, that's, that's very true. true. And they'll probably have it in one of those nice little like yeah. bags or whatever. Yeah. Like, oh, not only is it in a nice bag, but like they have like a nice compartment based like plastic container where okay, like your vegetables aren't running into your mashed potatoes because uh, I don't like my. I'm one of those weird people that don't like my food touching. 
Riz has shared in the groove. Sony has trademarked the PS6, 7, and 8 and more. This yeah. is this is a placeholder thing. They're, they're, of course. I mean, this is this is getting it out of the way. Right, because they don't want to run into a problem where somebody's uh, camping on one of their names yeah. or something. Yeah. Nothing big. Nothing big. Um, this was big. Uh, Potter from the Tiny Shutter podcast, of course. Prof Pot on the tweets. Uh, 13.2 is out, and it now includes that deep fusion that we've been talking about. I haven't messed around with the deep fusion, or I haven't really noticed it, but I will say that I... I, I'm pretty impressed with. I think the whole point is you're not going to notice it, right? You're just you're yeah, but sure there's a way to like turn work. it off. Oh, okay. Um, I think I can't remember what it is. There's some like if you turn on some option in your camera settings, then it turns off Deep Fusion because it can't do both simultaneously. Mm-hmm. But I will say I'm extremely impressed with the dark. Like the their like nighttime camera or whatever they call it, night mode, night mode, night, night mode, night vision. If you if you pull up my Facebook feed and look at my my pumpkins that we carved, mm-hmm. um, those are taken in a pitch black room with the night mode, and it's interesting because with like kids and whatnot, it's kind of difficult a little bit to use because you have to get things to be still for th- about three seconds. Yeah, it's the same on uh, Pixel, but it, but the, but the quality is pretty impressive. We got the pumpkins up here. If you guys are with us on the video, Did you yeah. see my baby Groot pumpkin. That looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, the baby Groot. Very yeah, nice, yeah. Chilla. Yeah, those, those, do, those do look very. Yeah, and uh, some fine carving, sir. Yeah. Hey, Carla did hers with a drill. There was no carving involved. Nice. Mm. Oh, that's so. There you go. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> uh, pointillism in pumpkins, guys. We do a lot of stuff here. Maybe not so much pumpkin carving, but we do a lot of other media here over at SidekickMediaServices.com. We got a lot of stuff. I, I recently recorded. <laughs> I recently filmed um, this past weekend a little bit of something for Pittsburgh Current. Um, so, what happens when a porn star and a comedian get on a boat? A boat. Find out. <laughs> Uh, uh, Michelle James and uh, Jim Cran of the Pittsburgh Current Respective Podcasts uh, over there uh, were uh, doing a Halloween party uh, over on the Gateway Clipper fleet, the uh, the Empress, I believe it was, and we had the opportunity to go film something um, uh, on deck over there with a, a beautiful city view. You guys can see that right here, um, and uh, that video will be coming out here uh, this week, I believe tomorrow, on Pittsburgh Current's website. One of the other, you know, one of the the many many services that we do around here, from live video shoots to live streaming to podcasting and so much more. Go check out what we have going on lately at SorgatronMedia.com and make sure to follow us on all those social media uh, uh, thingies, <laughs> places, <laughs> places over there. Uh, help, let us be the sidekick in your superhero project over Sidekick Media Services. And uh, and uh, check us out. One of the great Winnie things we do, like this show. Um, all right, let's get into the the back of the stories here. Uh, anything you guys want to definitely touch yeah, on let's here? Let's talk about the micro, the Xbox thing. The Xbox thing. So this is interesting, and uh, we, we're all Xbox people here. Um, you know, current different you know stages of that, and we've seen versions of this in the past too. So this is the Xbox. Is this Xbox All Access? Is that the official name? I'm waiting for it to load up here. Yes. Um, the idea is starting at twenty dollars a month, you will get the um, the whatever model Xbox is in your tier, and that you will also you will also be able to get um, the Xbox Gold and Xbox All Access. So, which is a pretty nice lineup of games. So you can do that without, you know, dropping a bunch of money. And after so many months, 12 months with the one plan and um, uh, I think 18 months after the other one, uh, depending on which one you have, uh, you actually will qualify to upgrade to a Scarlet. Which is pretty freaking awesome. Not to mention that there's literally zero cost to Mm -hmm. doing this. Mm -hmm. It is a... 18 24 whatever 24 month zero essentially loan yeah 
And so you get the Xbox, you get the Xbox Live, and you get the Game Pass all included. It's a very compelling idea of, like, why would you pay for this outright when you could, you know, spend 20 bucks a month or whatever it's going to wind up being? The, uh, and, and at the $20 level for the 1S digital edition, right? Mm-hmm. That, that over the two years costs for about 480 bucks versus 608 if you purchase the console so, and, and pass separately. So it definitely makes financial sen- yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. Now what what happens cuz I didn't fully get to read the article what happens at the end of 2 years? Can I do I give it back? Can I keep it once no, my payments yours. are complete? Yeah, once okay. the payments are complete, it's your system. Although the, they are going to have some kind of trade-in program going on where they talked about... Um, Is that the Scarlet upgrade we are talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the 1999 monthly base will include the Xbox One S, 24 months of Game Pass Ultimate, and the option to upgrade early after 18 months. So if you sign up now in 18 months when the Scarlet comes out, or it's not even 18 months. No, no, no you, you have to be on for 18 months yeah, to, you get have to, be, to get so you the won't Scarlet. Be, you won't be first day. No, you won't be day and date, but... The I it's a very interesting idea. It, not even just to upgrade. If it's if you're just interested in owning an Xbox, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know twenty bucks or even a month. upgrading. If like I, I'm sitting on the original. If I were you know, let's say I had 4K, right? Yeah, and, and I will. All these are 4K, aren't they? Um, is that, yeah, because they're accurate? all the S now. Yeah. So yeah, and if 4K. I wasn't worried about this, literally, I've never loaded the disc that I even owned that came with the Xbox. Right. But if I'm like, oh, I want the higher end thing. I got a new. TV and sound system or something room set up and then but I don't want to put the cost into like upgrading this because I know a new one is coming in in a few months Mm -hmm. or in a year I guess Um, then it's like wow this makes a lot of sense it really does make yeah so like cell phone monthly plans but I mean this is this is everything right everything's going to subscription model but man hey and this is in our story that's in here you see what happens when you drop $60 on a brand new video game like you're a WWE fan have you seen this? No, I haven't. This is this 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 goes into the tragedy turns into comedy. Like uh, like you were. Did we talk about this last week? Or I think I brought we brought up on the show last week. I think or WWE 2K20. You know, yearly WWE game by 2K Games. You know, they do important sports titles. And well, we got we got a we got a uh, we we got. Right, a, he, went, he wants to say hi. Sorry. Hey, say hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Welcome to podcasting. Hello. Welcome to podcasting. He can't hear because I have the headphones on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just looked down uh, and I I'll saw be the waving. Translator. I love I looked down and I saw waving. But um, <laughs> what's he playing? What's he he's, playing? He's later? eating. He's eating chocolate. What game? Oh, what's he playing? So, what do you play? You play Roblox. 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 Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> I like he's pointing at us. Hello. Wait, 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 but his, his feed's delayed. His feed's delayed a little bit. How about Mario down. Kart? Oh, Mario he Kart. Play, uh, Mario Kart. He plays Mario Kart uh, on the iPad and on the Switch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, I'm not seeing that. <laughs> they're, they're no, they're not showing the games. They're just talking. Well, what's the fun but, in but that? It'll be it'll be interesting to see what That's they do. Awesome. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the Xbox. Mm-hmm. As far as if you see the next down in the list, um, some of the stuff they announced for Android today well, in the today. beta. It's a, uh, partner says hello, little chilla. <laughs> little chilla, yes. <laughs> it's the mini chilla. But, but anyways, I was saying with the with the WWE thing, like PlayStation is apparently refunding people. Because of how broken it is. Wow. Like that's where, and I haven't heard of anything like this since like, uh, what was it? Arkham, Arkham Knight came out and it was so bad. I think mostly on the PC side and Steam was refunding people for it. It was because it was so bad on release. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this, especially as, I mean, we're kind of commodifying all these, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't tell you the last time I dropped $60 on a game. That seems insane to me. I'd rather drop $10, $5 a month on a service and get a bunch of them, right? Like I, I buy a game. What did I just say? Street Fighter Five. I paid twenty dollars for. Yeah, that's high for me. That's really high for a video game. But but what I also thought was interesting, and it didn't seem like they took it into the account on that pricing, was that also includes Xbox Live. 
which yeah. yes. you have to you you have to have don't you have to have live to get game pass? Which is gold, which is gold. Yeah. Live gold. Yeah. So so there's probably even a bigger savings than that. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's at least if you think about it, I think you can get all that together for fifteen dollars if you and that includes the PC stuff and maybe this does too. Oh um, right, because that's ultimate. That's ultimate. That includes that's that includes both both yeah. things. And to me, it's just like, well, geez, that's like five dollars more than I'm probably paying now. Why don't I go ahead and pay that? Uh, yeah, like it's, it makes too much sense. Other than I don't have time to play it, uh, <laughs> you know. But now you're like add another five dollars, and I get the newer Xbox. That makes sense. But I don't know. It, it, that's that. It's, it's definitely a compelling idea. It I'm really too busy. Is. I'm too busy busy playing Mario Kart and all my Apple Arcade games right now. For that's what I'm doing with my ten dollars a month for video it, games. I will say that X or the um, Apple Arcade, we picked it up, and everyone in the house is actually playing. Mm-hmm. Carly, wow. Carly even started playing the Sas, the sneaky Sasquatch game. Yes, yes, it's a, well, it's fun to be like, hey, check this game out. Hey, check this game out. There's a really cool game called Hogwash that I've been meaning to dive in a little bit more. It's like online multiplayer. And you play either one of the two, two or three pigs, or the farmer, and you have the pigs are getting dirty and have to dirtify the the prized possessions of the farmer, like a car or his house okay. or something, and uh, or his his, his prize is prize stag or something, and and like that's fun. The Pac Man game is fun, but it doesn't have like online multiplayer. Like you have to have a code and share it with people directly. I can't just jump in with random right. people. Um, like there's some there's some fun stuff in there, and and it is coming out like every every week with something new, and there's at least one thing I at least want to just jump in and try out. Okay, right? oh neat. And that's the thing. I'm not like a, I I, I think I'm escaping from this idea. Of, I'm gonna sit down and play through a whole game, a whole Gears of War. It's like what am I gonna play today? Let me just play something. Let me just experience things. Right. And, and that's kind of what I've started to do too. Is you jump in for like five ten minutes and you're like, eh, I'm gonna come back to this or eh, I'm gonna delete this. I, yeah. I definitely find it worth it. Have you connected your controller to it or what are uh, you? A little bit here and there. Uh, I actually took the Apple TV out of the house because we don't have internet. So I'm like, well, why am I connecting this? Why don't I just I bought another adapter and we just plug the phones in to watch stuff because that's on our unlimited plan. Mm-hmm. So so I've kind of deprecated that. But um no I bought like I've had I had the twelve inch iPad in bed with the controller playing games a couple of days ago and I'm sure Missy was like what the hell is going on here yeah. so you can get like, your you can get your twenty dollar a month Xbox and reuse the controller at all yeah so play, play your Apple Arcade it is funny because I well, I, I left the Steel Series at home and we had the Xbox controllers here in the office so I am covered so the the Apple game thing mm-hmm. that's the whole family's covered for that ten yes that month? is under family. Mm-hmm. It's not ten bucks, isn't it? It's five. Oh, it's five. Okay. No, I pay ten dollars because I'm also paying five dollars for the uh, Mario Kart subscription. Oh, that's okay. where they got me. That's okay. where they got me. So yeah, four ninety nine. It's uh, it's up for you and the entire family. Okay, that's a deal and a half then. Yeah, yeah, yes. And it is. we've been we've been kind of just the Lego Brawls game is it's fun. It's so Every- much fun. <laughs> um, now is that, it like a head to head thing where you're on your phone and your son's on uh, his? No, you. you you Good. can't. I don't think brawls. You can. You can't figure. You can't pick what. Oh, you can do. Can't you do the? We haven't tried that. We're yeah. just playing separately. But it's yeah. You have to wait for kind of like your arena or whatever people to join, and then okay. You go ahead. To it, head. It, it's basically Smash Brothers, and there's there's kind of a what is it? Kind of a capture, not capture the flag, but capture the. Um, it's nice. like King of the Mountain or yeah, whatever King you want. of the oh, Mountain yeah. kind of thing. So yeah, you can go into a party and do stuff, and and you can customize your guy. And as you as you run through this, you'll earn more stuff to customize your guy and everything. So it's a, it's a what lot was, of fun. What was it across in Halo? Wasn't it where you could there was like a capture area and you could yeah. knock each other out? King of the, the Hill. Team. Yeah, there, so it's kind of like that, but it's a side scroller. Oh, very mm-hmm. cool. I'm showing it here. Yeah, yeah, video. I see it. So it's one of those like you know. We move on one side, go side to side, move on one other side of the screen as a jump kind of thing, which is a really good mechanic. A lot of these games are doing this if you don't have a controller. Like, hell, I'm doing this in one hand. It's actually kind of working. Um, so, and, you know, tap to hit and stuff. So, so just doing a training so I'm not running somebody's online game. This has been taking a while. So, um, no, the, the, there's a lot of fun stuff there. And, and yeah. I know I know they were talking about, like, the, the um, Google version. It's been, like, weird because it includes just random titles. 
Yeah. Like, it's not just gaming. It's, it's a little bit of everything on the, on the Google Play Pass. And maybe not quite as great. So, yeah. But. The wife and I bought our first iTunes uh, subscription to uh, The Walking Dead. Ooh. Yep. Because when I, when I explained to her, we could pay 40 bucks a month for six months to turn back on um, DirecTV now. Mm-hmm. Or we could pay $40... Well, and have the season of The Walking Dead. Or you're doing like I'm doing, where uh, I got the Star Trek Discovery Season 1 on DVD out of my library, and then we dropped for the week trial to watch Season 2. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> so, so, and, and we'll figure it out when the seasons come out later, because they're week to week. Yeah. yeah. Krauser, what are you? so are you just doing over the air at home now? No, we're, we're using um, Hulu with no commercials but we don't have live tv so we can't get amc mm. ah, okay because amc is not one of the channels that is in that package if you have the live tv then you can get the channel but now maybe six months from now the walking dead will be on there but it's not there right now so you're doing that to kind of fill the gap that yeah, what, what, what your thing is it's my, not bad eleven dollars yeah, it's eleven dollar 12 bucks a month i think mm-hmm. when it's all said mm-hmm. and done mm-hmm. I just can't go back again. We we talk about this all the time when I'm on the show. How many services can you pay for a month? Mm-hmm. My limit is three. Do you, do do you get HGTV? Um, I have to check for you. I don't watch a whole lot of that. That's the deal breaker, isn't it? That's the, that's the deal breaker in our house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love it. Because uh, yeah, well, I'm interested in going back. I just got to figure out how I'm going to get there. Well, John, I know you you have a little bit of a heart out here, so I want to close this up uh, uh, for you. Anything you want to touch on real quick on the way out the door? Let me see. You got like two minutes. I know. <laughs> he can't um, help him, so. So, uh, I think uh, just to preview next week, Blizzard Con is next week, which yeah. there's leaks, leaks that have been beginning over Overwatch 2 and the World of Warcraft Shadowlands, which I think hopefully we'll get to cover. Um, the one thing in Kraus, I'm interested also, if yeah. you go to the story below that, are you still using the Apple TV as your streaming device? Yes. Or what? So, because NVIDIA announced their new Shield TVs okay. that start at 149, mm-hmm. they're Android based. Um, they have a hundred and forty nine dollar version and a two hundred dollar version. Um, I thought it was interesting because they run Android, so you have access to the whole Play Store. So any of the games that you have in there, typically you can also use a controller with. Um, these devices are four K. They will actually upscale using AI processing to upscale movies that aren't four K, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and they they stay pretty close to current with the current version of Android. So oh, that's interesting. I'm I'm definitely tempted. And so any app that's in the store, right? Hulu, mm-hmm. Netflix, any of your content, um, any of the apps and games, um, getting the okay, you know who to yeah. for for voice type stuff. The assistant. It, it's a pretty compelling device at the same price point so if you're thinking about putting one in a second room um which we're short we're short a streamer okay in our house um one of our tvs does not have uh anything on it so i'm thinking about instead of getting an apple tv picking up one one of of these I thought was cool because the one the one device they have is like a cylinder and it's actually meant to sit and hide behind your TV. I saw that. Look, that looked weird. Yeah, but it's not meant to be seen, which I mm-hmm. thought was interesting. Um, well, well, and then the other one's more of a, a box. Well, Chile, I know you got to go. We got we actually has a lot of comments in the chat room, but I think we're going to hit it on for the, the Patreon dark here afterwards. Uh, but uh, John Chichilla, where can people find you? They can find me at Chill on the Twitters, John Chill on the Facebook, and I think Chilla Photo on the Instagram. Fantastic. Crazy Kraus on the Twitter with the K. Yes, sir. Anything else going on? Um, <laughs> every Tuesday, I've been posting pictures out the window from uh, 
USX oh, they've been, Power. Ooh, they've been pretty awesome. Oh yeah. So, so I've I've gotten four or five out there so far. So nice, nice. and I just realized this morning, why am I not posting those to Instagram? So the, I just put one Seems there like today. That's what it's for. Yeah, exactly. It's absolutely. So, well, you know. thank you, producer Messi, for uh keeping me straight during this show. Uh, check out everything sorgatronmedia.com. A lot of great her? podcasts, as the aforementioned Bold Pittsburgh Sports. As just uh, just some recently last week, well, I guess two weeks ago now, uh, celebrated 100 episodes. So congratulations, congratulations. to them. And uh, geez, that's over two years, right? Uh, so and uh, also th- our friends Thirsty Podcast, Bardic Mystery Tours, if you like Dungeons and Dragons uh, playthroughs, and uh, so much more on there. And of course, our friends at Pittsburgh Current should be returning again this week. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.